What's going on RV world? This is Cam Hillier from Miller's RV in Baton Rouge. I'm staying in front of the 2023 Micro Mini 2108DS. All right, so before we check out this new Micro Mini, go ahead, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on post notifications so you can see more cool, cool stuff like this, and also anything new that comes out, you can stay notified on. So without further ado, let's check this thing out. All right, so I'm standing in front of the new Micro Mini. So you might have seen our video before on the 2022. We've done a number of different floor plans, but the 2022 Micro Minis. So this is a 23. So on the outside, you may or may not notice that the exterior graphics are different. They're new. They look kind of like modern to me, very sleek, cool, kind of edgy. Um, but the big difference is on the inside. So we're just going to do a brief walk around of some of the exterior features. If you want to see a little bit more detailed of the exterior, check out our 2022 video because the, the exterior features have stayed the same. We're going to spend more time on the inside of this trailer. So there's new decals on the outside, but the inside got a full Chip and Joanna Gaines. No, I'm just joking, but it got a full facelift. It looks a lot better on the inside now. It's a lot prettier. The colors seem to all go a little bit better. It's very open. We'll get to that in a second. So. On the outside right now, I'm under our 8-foot awning. So we've got a big awning here with our LED lights already equipped. Same as the other 2022s, you've got your four stable electric stabilizer jacks all individually operated. I absolutely love the fact that they're individually operated because it makes it... Again, they're, they're, look, they're not made for leveling. They're made to stabilize, but you can get a better... Basically, you can make them more effective if you can operate them all individually. So we've also got our pasture storage up here. And sorry, you might be able to see that it's a little bit dirty. We just got this thing in, so we wanted to show it to you guys immediately. So you've got your pasture storage here, big time pasture storage. So it's actually finished out there, which you'll know some manufacturers don't finish out the storage compartment, which looks really whack, really cheap, just not very good look. But Winnebago finishes out these compartments. So it's got the same flooring that you have on the inside, same type of walls. Everything, so it's, it's or not the same type of wall, same color wall, so everything looks very streamlined um, and very uniform. It's a good, pretty finished look. So to this side, we've got our gravity fill for our freshwater tank. We've got a spray port if you want to hook like your spray hose. Um, and then we've got hookups here for if you want to put a TV on the outside. Now they do have a backer location here. If you wanted to mount a TV, you could. I always tell my clients that if you want to drill holes in a perfectly good RV, feel free. For me, I'm just going to bring a table and go ahead and hook it up to the outlets that we have here. Um, and then you'll notice even to the left of that, this panel here that we have is our refrigerator. And if you've done a lot of research, you might be able to tell from the outside panel here that this does have a 12 volt fridge. So let's go check out the inside. Oh, I forgot a couple things as usual. So I wanted to also mention the tires here. So the Goodyear Wranglers, this is very, really the same thing that you have on your 2022s, but still a really good look. So it's more of an aggressive look, especially with the with the tire and even the rim. It just looks more aggressive. Now, it's not as capable as like maybe a Hike 100. So those of you who want to get out, really take this thing off-road, you'll probably want, want to watch our Hike 100 video and check out one of those. So this is still a very capable trailer, but not quite the suspension that a Hike 100 has. But still, I love the tires nonetheless. Now, also, the speakers that we have here on all of the 2023 Micro Minis, it's going to be JBL speakers on the interior and exterior. So much high quality, much better sound quality than what you would have on previous year models and then what a lot of manufacturers are still using. Just those cheap marine speakers that just don't sound good. Everything sounds like it's coming out at one pitch. It's just ugh, not, not music to my ears. It's terrible to my ears. But the JBL audio is much better. I mean, you can do Bluetooth, auxiliary TV, radio, all that good stuff. So that's just a brief summary of the outside. Of course, how could I miss the Asdell composite on all four sides here? So both the walls, your front and rear wall and side walls, you have Asdell composite. So it won't rot, won't mildew. It's a porous material and much better insulation than just your regular old stick and tin cheap trailer. So let's go check out the inside and see the facelift that this Micro Mini's got. All right, so I'm in the inside of this all new Micro Mini and check this out. I mean, what do you think? I, I absolutely love it. So. The countertops are a little bit different here. So your countertops you're going to have really all over, even in, I think you even have them in the bathroom. Yeah, even in the bathroom. So it's, it looks to be the same material that you had in the 2022, just different color. It's got almost like that faux marble look to it. Also, this backsplash has the same. So it's a really, really elegant, really sleek look. Um, I, I'm very modern, but kind of contemporary feel at the same time too. Also, your cabinet doors here. So it's almost like a mint very light i'm not good with colors you can just ask my wife maybe like a mint green or something like that 
light colors on the cabinet doors. Um, and then even the, I think the floor is a lighter shade um, as well. So it's very, very open. It just feels, I mean, we've done the walkthrough on a 2108 DSTB. We've done it on this size before. But this just feels bigger. Um, I, I guess it's, you know, the colors mixed with the natural light. I just, I really, really like it. So to my right, we've got our kitchen area here. So we've got a really deep sink, two sink covers. So you have tons of additional countertop space to, to prep food, do whatever you may have it. And also you've even got the flip up table here, which that adds a lot as well. Of course, your sink, you can pull down, rinse your dishes, you know, spray your wife, whatever you want. Um, but then we've got our three burners here. So this is going to be just your regular three burner propane stove that you've had in all the, the Winnebago's years pr prior. Now beneath this, you've got a storage compartment instead of an oven. So since you don't have an oven, you get the convection microwave, which I've got this fan above me. It's kind of blasting me. Um, but you've got a fan actually here and the, the bathroom as well that we'll get to in a minute. Um, but yeah, so storage under the burners and then below that you've got your uh, fuses and breakers there. Now tons of storage underneath your sink, drawers here, you can store plenty of stuff in as well. Now to my left we've got our dinette. So in the 2108 you can either get a couch in the slide or a dinette in the slide. Totally up to you which one you like better. This one does have the dinette. I like the seating space of it. It provides a pretty good viewing angle for the TV if you're sitting on this side. But also what I really, really like about the dinette is the fact that it offers a lot of storage. So you can access the storage through either of these little cabinets on either side, or if you have something bigger like a big chair or maybe something that's wide, like a big pillow that you wanna store, you can pull these cushions up here and access the storage that way. So very versatile, very big storage. That, that really, probably those two together are almost as much as you have in the past through alone. So I like that that um, really, really adds a lot of value. So TV behind me, this is a newer TV that they've done here, smart TV. Um, our JBL sound system is above this. So again, we have the JBL in the interior and exterior. This is your control panel from it. Now, if you have any JBL speakers, I don't know if you've ever noticed the function where you can basically link multiple speakers so you can link multiple speakers and play all the same things. Like if you have, you, I think on JBL, you can link like up to 300 speakers. Really, really cool. We did it at an RV show not long ago where we had one speaker here and we linked another one, just regular Bluetooth JBL speakers and they're both playing the same thing. And it sounds great. Just JBL audio, very good quality. You can do that same function with this. So you can be playing on your speakers here. If you have another speaker that, let's say um, you got a campground with a lake view. So you're playing your music inside, you're playing it outside but your family members are a little bit further close to the water at the picnic table grilling, you can link your, if you have another JBL speaker, you can link it, put it down there, and y'all can all be jamming to the same music, all in the same vibe. So I really like that. So on this side, you've got your GNE AC controls here. Um, and then to my right, my favorite thing, as you know, 12 volt refrigerator here. So compressor driven refrigerator is gonna cool a lot faster than your two way fridge. Yeah, we haven't even had this thing plugged in long and it's, Wow, that's crazy, and it's already pretty darn cool. Um, so big time fridge there. Again, I love the 12 volt much, in my opinion, better in every way than your two-way fridge. So let's check out the bathroom as well. This is the only floor plan in the Micro Mini, aside from well, any of the 2108s, the DS, the TB, and the FBS are essentially all the same from bed back. Um, all your, your kitchen aside, and then you can get the, the option of dining or couch here. But aside from that, it's the same in the back. So your 2108s will have the biggest bathroom in the micro series. So I want you to check that out. I think you're really gonna like it. All right, so I'm in the bathroom area now. If you watch our 2022 walkthrough videos, you'll see that the bathroom itself is the same. Again, the colors are different. So new countertop, new new coloring on the, uh, on the doors here as well. But what I really wanna point out just how big this bathroom is. So it's the full width of the trailer really big shower so you might not quite be able to see but tons of room in the shower even if i stand straight up regardless of where i'm standing facing forward or facing side i've got tons of elbow room also it has the squeegee curtain which i really like these squeegee curtain i believe this is the nautilus um either way same thing so the squeegee curtain keeps your shower door from mildewing or or getting nasty so it squeegees it off every time so i, I actually really really like that um and then there's even a little uh why do I always blank on what these are called? A little, not sunroof. Um, you know what it's called. Skylight. There's a little skylight here too. So for you taller people, you're going to have no problem in the shower and it lets in the natural light. So as I mentioned a second ago, 
you have an electric fan above this area and also an electric fan close to your kitchen too since you don't have the the range hood vent uh, for the microwave so we've had a, a few customers recently who have actually changed these little small fans that, that it comes with they've actually changed it for max air fans which i think is a really good thing to do you get a lot better airflow um you get a lot better airflow whenever you do the max air vents and you saw i just turned off the lights there so all your lights here um, aside from your entry door lights are operated by individual clicks so really cool I can control what's on and what's not and we're off of like a tiny little battery right now so that's why I see a little bit of flickering um, now to my left we've got our vanity mirror here nice sink um, it's got the you know enough clearance above your hands so you're not knocking your knuckles against the sink when you're washing your hands but to the left this is a real highlight for me so tons of hanging space here really deep cabinet um, and also you've got the cabinet underneath you can put all your, your towels and stuff like that and then even um, actually behind the mirror you have like your little medicine cabinet where you can put toothpaste or Advil or, or whatever you see fit back there um, also a sliding pocket door here to give you a little privacy whenever you're in the bathroom and that even uh, that's even magnetic there too so it latches a little bit better but yeah this bathroom is really really roomy the shower is the highlight for me I think this is the biggest shower that they have um, in any of the micros maybe aside from the 23 no the 23 is just small yeah i think this is the biggest shower for the 2108s that they have out of any of the the trailers in the micro series a so big fan of this so i'm going to show you the front now where you have the murphy bed and your couch too which if you've seen the 2108 ds's before i know you like that but this has an updated look okay so now we get to the part not only from the colors so of course in the 2023 the colors are way different but we get to the part of the 2108s that differs like i said from this point back Everything's the same aside from you can get a couch, you can get a dinette. That's just an option. But as far as the layout, it's just about the same on all the 2108s. So the front area is where you get your difference. So this is the DS. They also make an FBS, which has the full permanent walk around bed, and the TB, which is the twin bed that can also make into a king bed. All three fantastic floor plans, but we're highlighting the DS today. So one thing that I really guess a couple things I like about the DS. So you've got storage on either side here which as you can see that light coming through actually go all the way through to your um pass-through storage so it's a lot bigger than what it just looks like there i mean it'll go all the way through to the pass-through storage what i really love the ds offers this the fps is not the tv does not so you actually have pull out drawers beneath the couch area here so you can put your socks there or your clothes or and it's even got got a uh, a drawer for both people sleeping here so i really really like that and of course you have hanging space on either side of the bed as well so this couch i don't know for whatever reason it's just my opinion but the i mentioned the option that you can order uh, a couch or dinette for the slide i really think that in the 2108 ds i think this couch is more comfortable than the couch that comes uh if you put one in the slide now that was with the 2022s we haven't gotten a 23 with the couch so maybe they've changed it i doubt it um but i i really think this is a comfortable couch so really really like this so whenever we get ready to go to sleep, because right now we're just chilling, hanging out, we wanted a lot of space, then we get ready for nighttime, we're just going to pull this couch up, it's going to lay flat, and I'm going to come over here, grab this handle, and pull our bed down nice and neat like this. Now we still have the plastic on this mattress, so the mattress can kind of get a little, a little boogered up there whenever the plastic is on, it doesn't seat as well. Um, but yeah, with this bed down, now we've got a, a queen size bed to sleep on you've got 110 outlets on either side as well as 12 volt so you can charge your phone then you even got room underneath that for like a CPAP or I guess if you want to I'm not sure how big your CPAP may be but you could fit it above because you have a plug there as well so this is what I really like about the the 2108 DS I like the fact that you get the couch and you get the bed on the FBS you just get a bed on the TB you, you know you get two separate beds it could make a bigger bed it's really just personal preference for that but I think you're really going to like the new colors that they've done in the 2023 micros so I encourage you to come check them out same great name same great floor plans just a lot prettier this year so a lot of you are cu curious we normally get comments about it so if you do want to know the price of this instead of me quoting a price today because who knows you could get lucky and, and could catch us on the special on our website so instead of me giving you a price right now go ahead and click the link in the bio we've got a link to all of our inventory where you can check out prices it's going to be updated to the moment with pictures and all that other good stuff on it as well so we appreciate you guys stopping by and as always enjoy the journey
Hey there, thanks for watching this video. So we want to remind you again to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on your post notifications so we can keep you updated with the best that the RV industry has to offer. If you want to stick around and watch some more videos, we've got a link for two videos here. So we'd love for you to stay and look at that. And if there's anything else that you want us to do videos on, leave comments. Thanks, guys. Enjoy the journey.